once again to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this amazing looking book cover using photoshop i'm going to teach you everything step by step remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content i'm going to teach you everything step by step we're going to learn how to create this amazing looking book cover in this tutorial remember to watch this video to the end in order to get every detail on how to create this amazing looking book cover so let's jump right into action so what i'm going to do is that i've launched photoshop and i'm going to start to create a new file so i'm going to go to my file and i'm going to new so i'm going to set the size of my image so what is i'm going to do is that i'm going to use the you can use any unit of measurement i prefer to go with inches in this tutorial and i'm going to set both the width and then the height to 20 inches okay and my resolution i'm going to put it something around 150 and everything is going to be as it is and i'm going to create and i'll just click on what create so we have our main background that is our main background i'm going to work with and we're going to have several layers as you can see down here what we need is to bring our image now and have my image here this is the image i'm going to work with i'll just drag it onto my photoshop okay so this is the image i'm going to work with and i would like to do some bit of editing to this image i want to improve on the image brighten the skin and maybe i can remove this dark spot over here so i'll go to filter and then straight to camera raw and okay so i'm going to brighten this image by increasing the temperature a bit temperature of this image give it a bit of exposure the exposure is too much and then increase the contrast as well and after that i'll go to the details and sharpen as some bit of sharp and reduce the noise so that will be some form of noise reduction and color let's apply some few changes to this and click on ok the next thing i'm going to do is to remove this dark spot over here i'll go to my tools and then when i right click you see spot healing brush tool in my previous video i show you how to remove this black spot the last time i used the same video i used the same image and i removed that dark spot i'm going to show you how to do that as well so i'll click on spot healing brush to target so let me i'm going to zoom in for you to see this okay so this is the dark spot we're going to remove and i'm going to use the spot healing brush like i said i'll target the spot let me reduce the brush at least and then i'll target my spot and just click on it and then the dust black spot is gone as you can see okay so now we have our image and everything that we need to do on this image has been done so we can go ahead and then drag this image to our main layer okay so what i need to do now is to unlock this image remove it from the remove the lock double click on the layer and then go to ok so we can use our move tool now and drag this image on top of the layer we want to use so this is our book cover we can drag it around so i'm going to enlarge this image place i want just the head portion of this image i don't want to use the full image for this i just need part of this image so i need something like this okay i think let me still resize it a bit so i'm going to resize this and yeah I think this is enough this is what we're going to work with so we just have to hit enter or just click on this check command over here and we are good to go so now we have our image and if you can see our main design this is our main design so we are getting closer to something like this we need some white background over here so we'll create additional layer to cover part of this image so i'll go back to my tool select rectangular rectangular tool and drag across this part of this image okay so i prefer to make the background white so i'm going to click on my fill color and change it to white i want to resize this a bit by dragging it towards the left so i'll drag this image a bit towards the left left this way and i'll click on the check button once again so now we have this image we have this on top and we need our right up okay dream big and work hard it could be anything you can type in anything but because i'm designing the same thing i'm going to type in exactly what we have over here. so dream big and work hard so i'm going to type that 
and the font I'm going to use is called impact okay so I'm going to type what we have over here dream big and work hard so I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do so I can type anywhere and drag it here there's nothing wrong with that so I'm going to click here and then type dream big and work hard it can be other way around but just for the purpose of this tutorial so don't bother about a title that could be any title at all you want to use so I'll select all this I want to just align everything to the left so I'll just click on this and I can see there's a lot of space between this you could see that I've closed the space between my text and I can probably do the same over here where my text selected I'll go to the character I'll go to windows and you can see we have character formatting over here and I can't close in the space from here the space within my text I'll close it from here so I'll just drag towards the left to close my space I will enlarge this a bit okay so that is what I have and you can do a few bit of adjustment to this and I can now I can now reposition this to exactly where I want it to be so I'm going to put this as at exactly this portion of my book and we can now do a bit of amazing technique over it. So just watch how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I have my text over here. Okay, I have my text over here. This is an extra layer. I'm going to remove it, delete it. So this is my text and this is what my white background layer. Okay, if you have a bit confused, you can just turn off the eye and see where exactly you are okay so now i have my text which is dream big and work hard i'm just going to right click on this and go to the blended options and within the blended option you're going to just use two properties over so advanced blending we're going to turn the opacity that's the fuel opacity to zero and the knockout is also going to be shut so this is the two things we're going to do so you can't see anything for now so we're going to select our dream big our text and then the white background together so okay so so now what we need to do is we've turned the blend mode of this layer and we now need to merge the two together so we have to group them by selecting the text and then the white background we select everything to them we now press ctrl plus g and we're going to get our text this way. It's going to blend this with the image that we have. So now, basically, we can see if you compare this to what we have, that's exactly. Let's need to have this particular this kind of edge. We have to create this white edge around or white frame around our image. So we can just go back here, select our rectangle, and just drag it across this image. We just drag this across this image neatly like this and we're going to turn the fill color off and turn the stroke on the stroke is going to be white and we're going to increase the size of the stroke a bit this way okay so that is enough and we are going to go so the next thing we need to do is just to have draw some simple cycle over here so the cycle within our shape option you can right click and then go to what eclipse tool and then by pressing shift and drag we're going to get a perfect circle so i'll pull down the shift key and then just drag this way and i'm going to get my layer so i'm having this fill color which i don't really want to use i'm going to bring it at this corner over here i'm going to change the color by double clicking and then when i go to when i get to my layer style what i need to do is select color overlay and then pick a color from the skin I'll click on the color and then with my eyedropper tool I can pick a skin color this way and you can see what is happening we have this exactly over there but I need to put this below you can see this particular layer or shape is below the edge that I created so I'm just going to hold this and drag it below the edge this way and you can see everything will be perfect as we want so this is in a very simple way this is how you can so this is how you can easily create an amazing looking cover using photoshop with just 
simple step. Thank you so much for watching this. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and get alerted anytime we upload a new content. Bye bye.